Hi, I'm Marek Mulacic from SciTraining.co.uk, one of the UK's leading specialists in Adobe Certified Training. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly create a contact sheet with thumbnails of images using Adobe Bridge. I'm using Adobe Bridge CS5 because there's a couple of new enhancements in Bridge CS5. But most of the tasks can be easily accomplished with Bridge CS4 as well. I've got these images here, just a bunch of images. Okay, so if I if I look in the bottom left corner of Bridge, I can see it says 19 items. So I've got 19 images, and I'm going to use all of them for the contact sheet. To create contact sheets in Adobe Bridge CS4 and CS5, because this is also a new feature in CS4, you use the output module here. So I'm going to click on the output module, or I could, you could also use a keyboard shortcut, Control F4 or Command F4 on a Mac. I'm going now. I need to select all the images here. So I'll just select one and I'll press Ctrl A on Windows or Command A on the Mac. So all the images are highlighted. Now on the right hand side in the output module you've got two options here, PDF or Web Gallery. So let's set it to a PDF. Now the next part is the template. For the contact sheet I'll use 4x5 contact sheet. So this will be 4 times 5 20 images. That is enough. I've got 19 images here. And I'll quickly click create a refresh preview. To refresh the preview of the images here. So it will show me a quickly a preview. Now your preview may look slightly different because someone may have played with the settings. So don't worry about that, we're going to customize that. Okay, that looks good. Now the way the output module has been created and organized is it's all in logical order. You start on the top and then you move towards the bottom. So the first section is the document section. Page preset. This will primarily depends on what you're going to do with the, this contact sheet. Are you going to email it or are you going to print it? Now, if you're going to print it for a client, you would use a resolution of 150 ppi. That's the resolution used for contact sheets when they print it. If you're going to email it to someone, that's what we do very often, commonly nowadays, you probably change the preset to web this will change the quality automatically to 72. 72 is the default resolution for the web. And the size will primarily depend on the size of the screen. Right? So it depends on the resolution of the devices that are being used to preview your contact sheet. Okay. Uh, so you need to decide whether you want to keep it a portrait or horizontal. Or landscape and then you define the side of the quality I'm going to keep it portrait for the resolution I'll make that a bit bigger 800 by 600 quality 70 uh, quality 72 ppi or resolution actually in the quality quality 70 maybe 75 I'll oh, just type in 75 background color I'll keep it white even though you could use any background color you want. Now the password, no, I'll just give a layout, uh, four columns and five rows. That's fine because we've got 19 images here. But I am going to increase some spaces, some margins here. So I'm going to increase the margin on the top. Uh, let's say maybe 30 pixels and 30 pixels on the bottom. Let's do the same on the left and right. Increasing the margin will also decrease the size of the thumbnails. Just in more spaces. Oh, I need to change it to portrait here. So I'll just click on the portrait and do a refresh preview once again. Okay, looks good. Vertical horizontal, I'll just leave that. Overlays, file name. Good idea if you're going to send it to a client. For example, so I may want to leave the file name and extension, and I'm going to change the font from Arial to something different. Let's see, I'll use Gabriola, and I'll make it a bit bigger. Maybe, yeah, regular is fine, and I'll just click Refresh Preview. Notice that the Refresh Preview button is available here all the time. It doesn't change. This looks good. Page number, no, because we only have one page. The header might be a good idea, especially in case of a contact sheet. I'll put it in the center, and this one would be 
let's say do 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 Britain because I've got images from Cornwall and Southern on Sea here as well. So we'll do Britain 2010, let's say. Right, uh, for the font, I'll use the same font. So I'll use Gabriola as well. I'll make it much bigger. So I'll do 18, maybe even 20. And I'll hit refresh preview. Okay, uh, what I need to do, I need to change the header distance. It has to be at least 20. So we'll do here 20. Now I'll click refresh preview once again. Let's see what it looks like. Looks good. Britain 2010. Looks good. Footer. Yeah, why not? I'm going to add a footer also in the center and I'm actually going to add some corporate information here. So we'll do 2011 Marek Mularczyk Photography and all rights reserved. Ariel should be fine. I'll just refresh the preview to see what it looks like. Maybe I'll change the color to gray, not just black. Something like that. So it's not that visible on the page. It shouldn't be distracting. And you may want to make it slightly smaller. And we can add a divider here as well. I'm going to add one divider in black. And I'll refresh the preview once again. Looks good. Playback, no, nothing here because we're not going to play it as a slideshow. And then we have the watermark section. There's loads of options here that are new in Bridge CS5. First of all, I'm going to add a watermark. Now in Bridge CS5, watermark will appear on every single image. Place on each image. This is a new feature in CS5. And you can use either text or image. In this case, I'm going to use an image and I'm going to click on here to navigate to the image. Let's see what I could use if I go to my documents. And I do, 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 do let's see something here. I'll just use the logo with details. I'll click refresh preview to see what it looks like and then I'll start customizing it. Whoa, whoa that's too big. So let's scale it down. Let's see maybe about 37%. It's too a bit too big. Like 25% as semi-transparent. So I'll lower the transparency so to about 30-40% starts looking good, maybe even more semi-transparent. And again, just click refresh preview, maybe even more. Okay, 20 is fine. And that's our contact sheet. The last step is to save it. You can also check view PDF after save. So I'm going to click save. I'm going to save it on my desktop. I'll give it a name. So I'll call that contact sheet. I just hit save. And in just a few seconds, Bridge is going to create a contact sheet. And that's how you create contact sheets within Adobe Bridge CS5. So it's created. Thank you for watching. I'm Marek Malachik from SciTrain.co.uk and Photoshop Lightroom Bridge.co.uk. Thank you for watching.